we are here to count down the top 10 international artists. Keyword international artists. This is South Plus, where we only give you the plus. With no delays, let's get to it. Number 10. Okuda Caesar Malish Jeremiah Born December 2, 1988, in Torit, South Sudan. Known by his stage name, Silver X. Silver is a South Sudanese singer. Silver X has won many East African awards in Nairobi, Kenya, well as South Sudan awards in Juba. <laughs> With that sweet sample, let's continue. Before finding residency in Juba 2007, he released his first album named Binia Lotuko, before he founded a musical group named New South Sudan Superstars in 2008, and released his second album titled Wasaka Batal, which is translated, Rubbish is Bad. The album was sponsored by NGO to run the campaign for awareness of hygiene and sanitation in Eastern Equatoria State in 2008. In the same year, he released his third album, which was sponsored by Ministry of Health of Equatoria State. In 2009, his fame broke through up to date. With that kickoff, let's continue the countdown. Five. This is South Plus, we only give you the plus. Number 9 Slate Nation Got Peter Mu Athiwai is South Sudanese-born Australia-based musician, artist, songwriter who is known as Slate Nation. He was born in Thiet, a suburb of Tanji State. <laughs> With such songs like Juba Juice, Piandu, and Nyan Bim, Slate Nation has no stopping point in the music industry. With such an amazing style of dance hall, this singer isn't stopping. Our next number. Eight. Number 8 A Jack Cole, better known by his stage names, Bangs, Your Boy Bangs, or Your Boy Bangs, and formerly Star Bangs, is a South Sudanese born, Australian hip hop artist. He provided viral songs, Take You to Da Movies, and Meet Me on Facebook. In December 2009, he released an album, Hard To Be Up. 2005 Cole formed the Nubian Knights, a hip-hop collective with fellow East African migrants Ezeldin Deng, Francis Dubua, Abraham Adet, and Tong Ball. It resulted from the Footscray Community Arts Center's ID Check project. The Nubian Knights produced a self-titled album and performed at Street Jerome's. Cole recorded his debut album Hard To Be Up in mid-2008 at Gateway Living Music Studios in Footscray, Victoria, with producer John Favaro. In 2009, he posted Take You To Da Movies on YouTube as a satire on real rap music, where it became a viral hit after a few months. His hitmaker Let's Move On. 7. KDENKK Deng Kong Deng Kun Kong is a South Sudanese-born Canada-based musician, songwriter, dancer, and artist professionally known as K Deng. He was born in Rank, a suburb of Upper Nile State. Deng began his music career in 2004 as a choir member in the Kakuma Presbyterian Church Choir. Deng took part in Tusker Project Fame 2010, representing South Sudan. 7, which was widely regarded as his breakout moment. He has sung with other artists in the past. In 2018, Denk went on to tour of South Sudanese refugee camps in Uganda and Kenya as part of an outreach program for people affected by the South Sudanese Civil War. Denk's song Brighter Day was played over the radio to celebrate the 2018 ceasefire that brought an end to the Civil War. Number 6 Emmanuel Kembi Emmanuel Kembi is outstanding South Sudanese from WOW who sings in both English and Arabic. His music is popular countrywide, and he's known to be the best of all times. With his song titled, Let's Us Celebrate Hit 2.6 Million View on YouTube, this legendary rag singer has only one way to go and that's his up. Born a singer, songwriter, his pop reggae has created inspiration to the young generation. Kembi has gained fame through the various walks he has done such as creating his own record label Kembi Music International in 2010. Kembi has a lot of songs under his belt. Now next number. 
Number 5 Gordon Kuang Gordon was born in the Nile Valley. His known for his unrelenting optimism, peace, love, and togetherness key themes in his music, and they appearing to becoming increasingly pertinent in the global situation. <laughs> Kuang started his career by playing in the church in his hometown of Nazar, and in the 1990s began writing his own songs to play in the streets of Juba crowds. He later on became a household name in the country and the music industry. Having released 10 albums, he has been touring around the world and generating significant following on YouTube. With songs like Salam in 2019, Coronavirus in 2020, Malmi Goa in 2020, and Disco in 2021. Gordon is the godfather of music. Kuang sings in English and Arabic and newer. He plays traditional newer string instrument called the Tom or Tom. His influence ranges from Mohammed Wadi to Rihanna Surly. Gordon is the godfather of music. Number 4 Yaba Angelosi Angelo Maku, born February 23, 1986. The 36 years old singer is known by his stage name Yaba Angelosi. Yaba Angelosi is a South Sudanese American singer, songwriter, sound producer, film director, and entertainer. With his songs hitting South Sudan like Hurricane, such as Muhaba 2020, Junubia 2020, and Ribuna. Three Amak Don, born a Luang Majok Mac, is a South Sudanese Australian artist based in Melbourne. He made his international debut with the album Dinka in 2014, Melbourne, Australia. <laughs> With such songs like The One Playing, Amak managed to hit a million view over two videos on YouTube. Amak Don has got a lot of hit songs such as Yam Sabbath, T Nair Yin and Che Nian. Excuse my pronunciation please. Che Nian being the most loved song in 2022. Amak come with a wave and made South Sudan proud. Now we will go to our next slot in the countdown. Number 2 Ayak Thiek Ayak Thiek is a South Sudanese singer-songwriter and vocal producer. She is primarily known for writing hit songs and appearing on vocals for artists like Diana Ross, C. Lo Green, James Morrison, Chip, Tinchy Strider, and Dappy, among others. Ayak Thiek recorded and released a studio album entitled, Voices in My Head, Three her list of musical achievements continues. A Yak Thiek was featured on Liberty Bell Jolly Good TV Sky Art Songbook Show by Chance after coming to the rescue of her hero and arguably the most successful songwriter of current generation Diane Warren who wrote the hits Unbreak My Heart 1996 by Tony Braxton, How Do I Live Without You 1997 by Leon Rimes. I Don't Want to Miss a Thing 1998 by Aerosmith, and for many other artists. Taken aback by a Yak Thiek's voice, Diane Warren has begun writing songs for a Yak Thiek and is determined to make her a star in her own right. A documentary chronicling this will be filmed by the same production team. Let's go on to our next number. One. Number 1 Emmanuel Jal Emmanuel Jal is a South Sudanese Canadian artist, actor, former child soldier, and a political activist. His autobiography, War Child, A Child Soldier Story, was published in 2009. <laughs> With that amazing tune, let's get to business. Today, life look radically different for Jal than it did when he was a child. He live in Toronto, Canada, and has released another four album adding to his success in the music industry with albums such as War Child 2008, See Me Mama in 2012, 
the key in 2014 and not in 2018, this legendary singer brought joy and happiness with such songs like Nyabal Giving, Advice and Fighting for People's Right as become Emmanuel Journey in Life. Through music anything is possible with this, we say goodbye see you next time. This is South Plus, we only give you the plus. Rock a boom, rock a boom, the pedal like a boom, yeah, a boom, better now my ring on longer, cook for you, now we live together. Rock a boom, rock a boom, pedal like a boom, yeah, a boom, the better now my